might have heard people refer to zip files, or you might have even received a zip file in email from someone you know. A zip file is a convenient way to package one or more files into a single compressed file, and the compressed file typically has a .zip file extension, and it's much smaller in file size than the original file. You can easily create a zip file from right within Windows without installing any additional software. Say I want to send all of the files in this folder to a friend. As you can see there are several pictures inside of this folder and I can package all of these pictures into a zip file by simply right clicking on the folder, pointing to send to, and choosing compressed or zipped folder from the menu. When I do that notice that Windows has packaged all of those files into one zip file and that file has the name highlighted so that I can easily rename it to something of my choice. I'm going to go ahead and name this one uh, pictures.zip and let's just move that over here so that I can work with it a little easier. Now if I want to look at the files that are in this zip file, I just simply double click on it and notice that here is my original folder. If I double click on that these are the images that were in that zip file. And I can copy these files to another location. I can move these to another drive or to another folder. I can interact with these files just as I would any other file within any other folder. So for example, I can copy this file out to my desktop by just dragging and dropping it. It might be more convenient, however, to extract all of those files in one step. In other words, I might want to copy all of these images from the zip file to my hard drive without dragging and dropping. Doing that is very easy. I simply right click on the zip file and choose extract all. And when I do that I get this dialog. And here I can enter a path where I would like for those files to be extracted. Notice that the default is in the location where the zip file currently exists. In this case it's my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click on extract and when I do that Windows copies all of the files from within the zip file to the location that I specified. So now I have a pictures folder. Notice this is not a zip file, it's just a regular folder and it's on my desktop and it contains all of the files that were originally in the zip file. Learning how to use zip files is a convenient way to save time and space when working with collections of files. Find more GeekCast videos at www.bethegeekguide.com. Thanks for watching.